This is a video from everystepcalculus.com demonstrating how my programs work on a TI-89 titanium calculator and other calculators in the TI system for physics and calculus problems. So we're going to do the arc length with regards to sine or cosine and uh, first of all I'm going to do uh, on, the, on the calculator and show you on the calculator how this works. You can do arc length here. You notice when you press F3 function uh, you come up with that menu, you press 8 and it'll go to arc length. We're going to put in um, sine of X for our function and then a comma with regard to x and then a comma with regard to the uh, range of 0 and pi you notice it's busy here that means it's thinking and the takes a while as a hard for the calculator to do evidently and here's the answer 3.82 units so now let's um, get started on my programs we're gonna have to put second alpha to put the letters I N D I N D E X in here and press alpha again to put 9 and the open and close parentheses press enter we're into my menu we're going to do 6, which is arc length of a function of f and x, which is this, which sine is. And we're going to enter the function. We're going to press alpha. You have to push alpha before you do anything in my entry lines here, enter anything in there. So alpha, and we're going to put, put sine of x. I always ask you if it's okay, and then uh, in case you made a mistake. And so here's the arc length formula. You notice you're doing the derivative squared here. And the regular function is, the original function is sine of x. And we're going to enter our range here over the range of alpha 0 and alpha pi. I again ask you if it's okay. And then we do the derivative. You write this stuff all in your paper as you see it. And here's the derivative of sine of x squared over that range. Here's the Simpson's rule, which you have to write on your paper. I don't think this problem would ever be on a test. It's too difficult. Might be. Might be in homework. Here's the reality of this, of that formula. This took me about two days to figure this out. Probably took Simpson to do that without calculators. And we're going to do six intervals. This takes six intervals of that. <coughs> Change of x is equal to b minus a time divided by the, the number of uh, itinerations. So that equals 0.524. And that divided by 3, which is Simpson's rule is 0.175 so this is the change of x and you do each one of these individually you notice the first one starts with 0 etc you keep adding this in your paper and the answer is 3.82 units as you sum up all these itinerations pretty neat huh every step calculus.com go to my site by my programs and pass calculus